is John with lesson 3 for year 13 physics and today's lesson is about alternating current in a pure capacitor. Now what's the difference if you have a capacitor in an AC or if you have a capacitor in a DC circuit? So if you have a capacitor in a DC circuit you've got your capacitor and here's your lamp. The lamp will stop glowing once the capacitor is fully charged. However, in an AC circuit, the lamp does not act like a brick in the circuit. It will continue to glow. Now, the reason is because the capacitor plates are alternately getting charged and discharged as the electrons go back and forth. So, so then, this if you have trying to do like Ohm's law for a capacitor in an AC circuit, so you've got an AC supply, you've got an emitter to measure the circuit current, here's a capacitor and a voltmeter that measures AC across the capacitor and this rheostat or variable resistor is there to change the size of the current. So as you move the slider of the rheostat you get different currents and then you measure the voltage for these different currents and if you plot a voltage across the capacitor vc against current you're going to get a straight line that tells you that the voltage across the capacitor is proportional to current and the gradient will give you vc over i which is actually the reactance of the capacitor and that's your constant of proportionality now it tells us so what is the reactance of the capacitor it's about the current limiting effects a capacitor has in in the AC circuit now the gradient is your XC and the unit is ohms now what is it that affects the reactance of the capacitor so the greater the reactance the smaller the current and the reactance of a capacitor is affected by the capacitance and it's also affected by the frequency so if the capacitance is large, then the capacitor can store more charge. So if there are more charges flowing, then the current is high. So if the current is high, the reactance will have to be low. So this means that the reactance of a capacitor is inversely proportional to the capacitance. And that's how we show that. Now, if the frequency is high, there are more charges moving back and forth. So the current will be high again. So if the current is high, then the reactance will be low. So the reactance of a capacitor is also inversely proportional to frequency. Now if you combine both these, you get Xc is inversely proportional to Fc. And the constant of proportionality is 2 pi. So you end up with Xc is 1 over 2 pi Fc. Now on your formula sheet, because 2 pi F is omega, You've got both these formulae given and you've got to put both these together to end up with this to solve problems. Okay. And I have solved some problems if you want to just check. So here's some on that. So I'll just 